All right, so when it comes to my channel and doing exposure videos or exposés, this video would rank in the top five that I've ever done. That's how serious it is. We're featuring Julie Green, one of the most blasphemous and false prophets in modern history. And I don't exaggerate that. The video you're looking at, you can see the title, The Great Exodus 2022. You can see that it was published on February 18th of 2022. It's still up there on her Rumble channel. You can go look at this for yourself. You can even get a copy of this very professional looking PowerPoint presentation that they did so that you'll know that I'm not exaggerating anything as I show you this. So we're gonna look at this today, get your notepads ready, get a cup of coffee. This might be a little longer than usual. All right, so I'm gonna widen this out so you can see it. All right, I'm just gonna play a little snippet here, but you can see that Bo Polony is there. Here's Julie Green. She's very proud of this. Uh, she's very giddy and giggly and happy. And she thinks this is real. And sadly, you know, potentially millions who have seen this, not just on this channel, but because this gets shared throughout the internet, they've seen this. Sadly, they believe it. Many believe that this was true. But as we have six days left in the year, I think it's safe to do this now because what she said was going to happen is not happening and it's not going to happen all right so let's listen to a little bit of this here take your camera point it at that scanner and scan this and you'll be able to download the entire presentation and trust me you're going to want this presentation based on what we're soon to talk about here it's really exciting so uh, on page one of the presentation um i know that julie is in full agreement with what we've been talking about here but 2022 this year is expected to be the great you know the great exposure the great removal the great fall the great judgment the great overturning the great death the great exodus mm -hmm. the great birth or rebirth and the great wealth transfer and all right look at julie here she's very proud of it sitting there very positive about what they're doing here so as we go through this powerpoint presentation this is page one you can see what it says here i did not do this 2022 here we are the great exposure removal fall judgment overturning death exodus rebirth and yes wealth transfer everything that you are about to see which i'm going to show you julie green said that god almighty said this was going to happen this year there is no ambiguity there is no debate she prophesied it therefore it must happen she put a date on these prophecies so there there is no potential for anyone who does this type of prophecy to come back and say something like, well, we just don't understand God's timing, or this could still happen. They can't make that argument. She put a date on it. For this to be a true prophecy, it would have had to happen this year. Now, granted, today is the 23rd or the 24th of December. There is still seven days left in the year. But there is no way, after you see what I show you here, there is no way that this can happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll through a couple of slides here. I'm going to do as best as I can some close-up because when you zoom in, it gets a little blurry. But I will read it. And again, you can go scan that QR code and get this for yourself. Here we go. All right, so as we start looking at this presentation on page two, she's got this little bit down here again titled the great exodus 2022 she's got a she's got a picture of charlton heston parting the red sea 
She says prophecy and timing. Right, timing. Here it is, 2022. So as we scroll up, what she's done is she's created, you know, different slides with really just politicians. And underneath each slide, she's put her own prophecies. These are the words in yellow where she says God says this. And then below that, She's listed the dates in which she has prophesied this. So I imagine you can go to her channel and find the dates that videos were made, and you can verify this for yourself. So first, we'll start with Nancy Pelosi. You can see right off the bat, right off the bat that she spelled Nancy's name wrong. I don't know. Is that important? <laughs> or is it hard to get the spelling correct? Is there not a spell check on PowerPoint? But right away, credibility. Here's what she says about Nancy. I'm sorry. Here's what she says God says about Nancy. You will fall and never get back up. Audio of your instructions for what to do on January 6th will come out. Damning evidence about you is coming out. Everyone with you has been recorded. And if you, you probably can't see this because, again, it's so blurry, but she spelled damning wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm a little nitpicky. I just find that hard to believe that, you know, God would spell the, you know, word wrong. Um, of Mitch McConnell, she says, you will fall and never get back up. You've been secretly recorded and that's coming out. Prince Charles, very disturbing. I've done a video showing where she falsely prophesied this already. You can go check my library for that. But she says, I'm sorry, she says, God says about Prince Charles, you will be stripped of your power. By the way, she spelled strip wrong. She said, you'll be striped of your power. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stand it when they spell wrong. And you'll never have the royal crown. That's a lie. We saw Prince Charles is officially the king. She continues, you helped with the coup in my nation, and the whole world will know it. Another arrogant pharaoh, and you will fall. But then she finishes this up down here. She says, you are your own mother's murderer. Unreal. And again, I say this, you wonder why she was kicked off of YouTube. Just absolutely atrocious. Try to imagine just the evil of Prince Charles waiting until his mom was 96 before he murdered her. Of Adam Schiff. What do we got on Adam Schiff here? Let me get there. Here she says, God says, I'm exposing you. You will be removed and forced to apologize to the nation. And you will admit that Trump is the rightful president. You will be tried for treason. Of Mitt Romney, she says, you are a wolf in sheep's clothing, always a part of the deep swamp, and a trafficker of children. Good grief. This is astonishing. With zero evidence, she, you know, this is slander. It's one thing to get kicked off YouTube. How is, how is Julie Green avoided being arrested for this kind of, these kind of accusations? Uh, she finishes, you will also be tried for treason, Mitt. Of Liz Cheney, she says, you are another wolf in sheep's clothing and part of the deep swamp. You will fall and never get back up. You will be tried for treason. And then she says, your life will be taken from you. <laughs> Just astonishing. Julie Green is definitely the death prophet. So let's move on to the next slide. Now, I do want you, as we look at the next slide, I, I do want you to stay with me because I've, I'm have i going to summarize at the end here so you can really put this all into perspective. Uh, she moves on to Lindsey Graham. She says about Lindsey, I will show the whole world which side you are really on and the truth will prevail. Boy, Lindsey, Lindsey got away uh, pretty pretty good there. That's not too bad. Of Elon Omar, she says, God says, you are a snake in the grass, a spy sent from your own land and giving information 
to the nation you serve, you will fall for your treacherous acts. Okay? Maxine Waters, she says, God says about her, you are another one that will fall to the angel of death. <laughs> she, she, she really doesn't like the Democrats. Uh, but not before you are exposed and removed. Your sentence, quote, eternity in the lake of fire, end quote. Just amazing. Of Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. I did not have sex with that woman. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. She says, God says, you will fall. The angel of death will strike you, but not before everything will be taken from you. God wants him to suffer first before the angel of death touches him. Uh, let's see, not before everything will be taken from you, your money, your power, your influence, your perversion and what you have done to the children will be exposed on video again. You know, and, and here, I'm not going to bat for these Democrats, not at all. What I am doing is exposing a false prophet. Good grief. Hillary Clinton. She says God says about Hillary. You will never be president of the USA. You are a witch. <laughs> <laughs> You're a witch. And I will expose the truth. You will have a great fall. Video evidence. Truth bombs. Play God, God's video evidence and truth bombs, bro. Truth bombs. Let me get back there. I'm sorry. It's just too much. Video evidence and truth bombs are, and your emails are coming for you. The angel of death will strike you. So the Clintons both dying in 2022. AG Barr, the world will soon know who you really are with your backdoor deals. So AG Good thing for you, A.G., the, the angel of death wasn't issued for you. Chris Matthews. Here she says about Chris Matthews that God says, you will take a major fall and not survive. Exposures are coming for you. You will lose everything. Embarrassment and shame is coming to you. Concerning Chris Wallace, you will take a major fall and not survive. Exposures are coming for you, and you will lose everything. So very similar to Chris Matthews. You are a traitor and pay the, I'm, I'm reading this verbatim. You are a traitor and pay the ultimate price for your part with the children. Oh, good grief. You are finished. Rachel Maddow, you will be removed from your show. Never to be hired anywhere in broadcasting again. That's not true. Rachel Maddow was rehired. She has a show. I'm not sure where, but she does. You can research it. She continues, it's your time to fall, comma, be removed, comma, dry, I'm sorry, tried for treason, and that will be your end. Bill Gates. She says, God says, your money and power will be stripped from you, and then your life will be taken from you. The angel of death will visit your house. You will fall like a fly in, in a fly trap. You will fall like, does that even make sense? You will fall like a fly in a fly trap? Very... I don't remember. I think they just stick, don't they? But here, I guess they, they fall. <laughs> it's just so silly, isn't it? Justin Trudeau. She says, God says, we'll fall like a fly in a fly trap. Oh, so he gets the same thing. You are trapped. It's a trap. It's a trap. A major. Here, she, she literally, she... If you can zoom in there and see it, I'm not sure if you can. This is how she worded it. A major exposures are about to break open the floodgate of truth. 
your worst nightmare is coming to pass. So she gets a little ramble in there. Your worst nightmare. Who's on the phone? It's me, Rambo. I'm your worst nightmare. It's just ridiculous. Is though do, do people rank their nightmares? Aren't nightmares called nightmares because they're all bad? But if you really want to know my worst nightmare, I don't know, maybe there is. I could be wrong. Here's George Soros. Will fall like a here it is again. Will fall like a fly in a fly trap. You are trapped. This is what she says. Will fall like a fly in a fly trap. You are trapped. Just kooky. And <clears throat> the next slide, we start with Brian Kemp. She says, God says, your life as you know it is over. You will be tried for treason. Brad Raffensberger. You <laughs> so she said, God says, you snake in the grass. You are on audio and video, and it's all coming out. You are finished. Stacey Abrams. You also are on audio and video, and it's all coming out. There is more than you can imagine. You are finished. Of Kathy Hochul. She just comes out and says, she says, God says of Kathy Hochul, all God said was, you are a Jezebel, a witch. <laughs> God just, you know, no judgment. God just wanted you to know, Kathy, that you're a Jezebel, comma, a witch. Eric Adams, you will take a fall that you will not get back up from. Gavin Newsom, our favorite surfer governor, from California, dude. The world will see you f fall and exposed. I'm not kidding. She says it like this. The world will see you fall and exposed for your heinous crimes. I'm opening the books and exposing all your finances and the money you stole. Interesting. All right, the next slide. I, I like the title. Treason will be written on them for all eternity. By the way, the treason that is going to be written on them, according to Julie, is just treason against the United States, not against God. Somehow God, you know, oh, whatever, I'll leave it. I'll leave that there. So we start with Chuck Schumer. She says about Chuck that God says, you were, you were about to fall on live TV, never to get back up. She prophesied that on February 4th of 2022. Remember, all this that she's saying was supposed to happen this year. Uh-oh, Joe Biden. She calls him the Biden because she says that he's a clone or something. She says that God says, you are finished and nothing will save you. But, you know, here's the other thing, too. If she doesn't think this is the real Joe Biden, why is she putting Joe Biden here? She should have put Joe Biden's clone or Joe Biden's deep fake, or Joe Biden's reptilian. It's just so stupid. But she says, you are finished, nothing will save you. You will speak Obama as the president. This will be your great fall and will bring your end. I think, I think he actually did refer to a Biden as the president. So, not bad, Julie, not bad at all. You may have gotten one. I, I don't know. I'll have to get the fact checker checkers on that one. Of Kamala Harris, you were about to fall and never, good grief, can she get a little more creative here? You were about to fall and never get back. She could have just, you know, put all the names in one big collage and just say, thus saith the Lord, you're all about to fall. But she gives these individual prophecies that are all the same. Um, and she also says about Kamala that God says, you will be tried for treason, and that will be your end. Interesting. No angel of death? 
or maybe that's what she means by that will be your end. We're just supposed to read between the lines there. Okay. Chief Justice Roberts, you are being removed by my hand for blackmailing the other justices and heinous acts against my children. You will be exposed for Epstein Island. Good grief. I don't know. Was there, there was nothing ever connecting Roberts to Epstein. I could be wrong. Not that I know of, but I guess if Julie says so. She continues, your time is over and will be tried for treason. She should say, and you will be tried for treason. She says, uh, your life is over. Barack Obama, you tried to destroy this country, controlling everything from your basement since Trump. Remember, I'm, I'm reading this verbatim. You are a snake, a deceiver, and all is about to blow up in your face by me. And me right here is all caps. So she took one. She borrowed that from Amanda Grace. And then in red, it's hard to read. Bear with me. She says, your puppet masters will try to protect you, but you will see uh, who gets the last laugh. You will see who gets the last laugh. Or we will see who gets the last. No, she said, but you will see who gets the last laugh. On Michelle Obama, she says, I am opening the book on what you have done for money. She literally says book. I'm opening, I guess there's just one book. I'm opening the book on what you have done for money and power and how much you truly hate this country. Now you will pay. <laughs> you will you will take a bigger fall than Barack. And and then I, I just can't read what it says in the red here. But she finishes off uh, with Michelle by saying, judgment is coming for you. So here we go. Up oh, now change the music. Okay, we've got in the background here, you can see the the uh, the beheaded head of the Statue of Liberty, right? And there's ominous music. But now sunshine, flowers, candles. We've got the good guys. Here it says, God's appointed for such a time as this. Cue the harps. We've got Amy Coney Barrett. Right here, what does God say? God says, my Deborah, on your highest court. Oh. And then, of course, we've got, excuse me, you fake news. It's Donald Trump. The modern day David, the new David. He says, Julie says, God says, my appointed president will sound retroactive restoration to, I'm sorry, in this land. And she says the same about Mike Pence, that he will sound retroactive restoration in the land. Of Madison Cawthorn, she says, you are protected by me, all caps. Do not fear, go forth. I am restoring all that has been stolen from you. On Oprah Winfrey, she put question marks in front of her. She says that God says about Oprah, heed these words now. Wait, it's so hard to read that red. Turn back from your unbound ways or something. I can't read that. I'm sorry. She continues, you have been deceived by them, but I see your heart. So Julie says that God says about Oprah, I see your heart. Really? Because Oprah's heart spends time turning people away from Jesus. As we know, Oprah regularly says that Jesus is not the only way to salvation. And God sees her heart, really. But she tells Oprah, turn, repent, speak up, and there will be hope for you still. Do it, exclamation point. And then or Artur Palowski, 
I think he was that preacher that got arrested. She, she says, God says, justice and victory is coming to you. You are another Joseph in this hour. Your life will be changed in, in same day. I can't read that. I'm sorry. She continues, you will rise higher and never to be taken prisoner again. Hold on. The great I am is coming to deliver you. Outrageous. Now, on the next slide, and I appreciate you staying with me here. I know this is hard to read. I'm going to read this for you. Here, it looks like a bullet list here, a bullet point list. Uh, she says, unity, peace, joy, freedom, a great time to be alive. A major overturning of mandates, laws, shortages, damages to us, and land nullified. That doesn't even make sense. And land nullified as if never existed. God was in control the entire time. Well, that's true. God is always in control. Uh, she says, this is our hour in freedom. We will see today. I'm sorry, what we see today will all be removed. The way be, I'm not kidding, this is what she says. The way be, buy, and sell is about to change. Unreal. She says, a flood of blessing is coming. <laughs> I'll just, I'll read these, I don't need to. Every dirty deal will be brought into the light. Oh, this is important. She says, here's another couple of prophecies. She says that CNN, Twitter, Facebook will fall like the walls of Jericho. Did that happen? The answer is no. Twitter got sold. It did not fall. In fact, if I'm recalling, Twitter is at an all-time high as far as usage. Um, and then in yellow here, she says... The great exodus is upon us, greater than for Israel. What a joke. What an absolute joke. Why is that a joke? Well, first of all, we know that this did not come from God. But to say, you know, when you read your Old Testament, when you read of the exodus, the true exodus, and the miracles that God displayed, the love that God displayed for Israel at that time and bringing them out of Egypt. And she's going to compare this to something that didn't happen. You know that that came from the vain imaginations of, his, of her own heart. It's just so very and deeply troubling. She These last two lines, she says, watch their destruction for Satan's plans never work out. God let Satan's plan go this long to wake us up. Now, some other slides that are just worthy of mentioning. Here she's got one where she's got Robin Bullock, Kent Christmas, and Amanda Grace. Now, I don't know whether they condone what Julie did here or not, uh, but she's listed them. And I have heard them talk about wealth transfers. In fact, I've got a video on Kent Christmas where he most assuredly said there was going to be a wealth transfer in 2022. Um, so again, they all run together. All right. So yeah, here we go. Here's the slide she's got uh, featuring Kent Christmas. Now she's got a quote here, but she doesn't cite it directly to Kent Christmas. But what it says right here in quotation marks is, and when 2022 comes in, she puts intro being, it's, she meant to say into being, the, hosts of, the host of heaven is going to be released onto the earth and they shall carry out the will of God. I'm assuming she's, again, attributing that to something Kent Christmas said. Up at the top, she says, Kent Christmas prophecy, it will happen in a 24-hour period. Well, I think that might keep, keep people hoping this next, you know, six or seven days that this is going to happen. There's, you know, six or seven 24-hour periods. Good grief.
Now here on this slide, and again, I apologize, it's very blurry, you can't read it. Up here, what this, I'm gonna read what this says. I'm gonna read what it says to you. It says, eclipses are the key to calculating the May 26th, right here in the center. See, we're going from the old era to the new era. So eclipses are the key to calculating May 26, 2021. The flower blood moon, Mayflower, as prophesied by Hank Puneman, another dastardly false prophet. It looks good, though, doesn't it? It's a great graphic. It makes all of this seem official and godly, right? Now, just bear with me here because this is important that you see into how these false prophets and others like Bull Polney deceive the masses. They put out these graphics and again, looking very official. I think Bull Polney, this guy up here, uh, here is his title, an analyst of time. But you've seen stuff like this before from rapture predictors, rapture dreamers. They put this stuff out there and it's failed every time. And, and again, for all the work they put into these slides, this PowerPoint presentation, it's absurd. Here is uh, something that Julie does all the time, uh, recalling Esther, biblical Esther, right? This makes it sound like, oh yeah, it's, you know, th this is all parallel with what happened in the Old Testament, specifically here with Esther. Again, these are just tactics, tactics that they use to convince their followers to jump off of the path to Christ and to begin trailing down these rabbit holes in search of these fantasies. And this is what it is, it's fantasy. And again, recognize the tactics. Now this slide focuses in on the wealth transfer, but I want, I'm gonna read this to you. I'm not sure if you can read that. Look what they've got highlighted in yellow. It says the biggest, now the biggest is in bold, it's capitalized, and I'm not sure if you can see it, it's underlined. The biggest move of God's spirit ever in the history of this world. And then below it, it says, one of God's biggest surprises ever to hit the elite who have manipulated the price of everything for generations. The US dollar will crash, Goliath will fall. God's people will begin to rise up in America and the world. Wealth transfer. And again, here's why this is so crushing. It is so devastating. When all of these followers of these false prophets like Julie Green hear these things, well, reality goes out the window and in comes ungodly fantasy that one day they're going to walk out to their mailbox one day in 2022 according to the prophets and they're going to find checks and they're going to find titles and deeds to houses and buildings and stuff like that they're going to check their bank account and see oh money has been a lot of money has been transferred into my bank account and so they believe these prophets and these prophets receive many donations and gifts and accolades and praises. They're adored for the rock stars that they are. And so they believe these prophets and now what's gonna happen after the year ends in this fake wealth transfer doesn't happen? Well, here's what's gonna happen. People are gonna walk away not from Julie Green, from Kent Christmas, from Hank Kuhneman, from Robin Bullock. They're gonna walk away from God Almighty. They're gonna walk away from Jesus Christ. Now, of course, a, a good number will still prop up, support, and promote the false prophets because the delusion is just too deep. But for those who were searching for the truth of Christ and somehow they came across this and thought that this was real, well, suddenly they feel foolish. They may have been talking to their friends and family about these things. 
and now the great wealth transfer didn't happen and they feel foolish. So that what they do is in embarrassment, in shame, they conclude in their own minds, well, this is all just fake, isn't it? It's all foolishness. God isn't real. And they walk away from God and they go back into the world because of the actions of someone like Julie Green. This is why false prophecy is devastating. It shipwrecks, it destroys the faith of what once were solid Bible-believing Christians. And they fall away. And this is why God commanded death to the false prophets as written in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 20 through 22. Not that I'm condoning that now. I am not. But you get an idea of how God feels about the false prophets. They are atrocious. They cause the people to error. Here's one of the slides. Look at Manuel Johnson, Prophecy for the Great Wealth Transfer. Here he is, Captain Time Travel. Let me, uh, hold on a second, I wanna zoom in on that. Here's what he said. Now this, you can see the date, you should be able to read that, October 13th, 2021. A giant of the faith that owns a very large Christian network will soon die. And when this event occurs, get ready because the wealth transfer is going to begin. Now over here, I guess this is the guy that died, Marcus Lamb. I think that's his name. So Emmanuel Johnson said the death of a major Christian, when he died, get ready for the wealth transfer. This, again, from October of 21. But Captain Time Travel was wrong. Okay, so just so I can make this absolutely clear so that you really understand, none of what Julie Green prophesied in this PowerPoint, which was issued on in February of 2022, none of what she prophesied in all of this came true. None of it did. This categorically makes her an absolute false prophet once again. None of it happened. I don't know. You can see Julie Green. You could go watch this video for yourself as she passionately sells the viewer on this exodus, this 2022 exodus. I, I think it's horrifying. And I'm, I'm just speaking from my mind right now. I think I calculated over 70 false prophecies from this one video, from this PowerPoint presentation. And think of the dashed hope. Think of the crushed hope that these destroyers of faith, in particular Julie Green here, think of the damage that she's caused. It's just immeasurable. I don't know what it takes to wake the people up these days. We were prophesied, or I should say, many were prophesied about in 2 Timothy 4.3. For the time will come when they will no longer endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap unto themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away from the truth and be turned unto fables. Julie Green, I think between her and Kat Kerr, they're the queens of fables. And as she smiles so proudly over what she thinks she's accomplished here, she has no idea that she is the absolute enemy of the living God while pretending to love God. 2 Corinthians 11 uh, starting in verse 13, talks about this also. As Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light, it's no wonder that his ministers disguise themselves uh, as ministers of righteousness. And I'm paraphrasing there. People have just no capacity to understand that that's what's happening. 
these people don't love God. They love Donald Trump. They love America. And they're sabotaging people's faith and causing people to hate other people. Because Julie Green, in her ministry, she has successfully gotten tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people to hate Democrats. Now, if you consider Democrats or those who are opposed to Donald Trump enemies, okay, but what did Jesus tell you to do when it came to your enemies? He told you to pray for them. He also told you to love them. Now, I'm not condoning that you go out and have barbecues with them and send gifts to each other, but to come out on almost daily on your channel producing videos, calling down death, saying that God said this, accusing people of child sex trafficking or whatever she's doing, and who knows what else, it's ungodly. Many of you say, yeah, but Drew, you hate Julie. I don't hate her. I oppose her. I do pray for her because she's destroying the lives of many people. She's destroying the faith of my brothers and sisters who then consider me an enemy and who then hate me because I biblically call out the false prophets. What an absolute time we live in. Well, now that we have expose this. Let's go look at the list and see how many false prophecies, at least that I could count, that Julie and Bo here made in this video. So let's count these up here because this is how bad it is. Remember, our God commanded death to whoever falsely prophesied one time, one time, he said put him to death. And again, I'm not condoning that. I'm just giving you an idea. Julie Green has done all of this in one video. And I'm not going to go through and read these again. You can read for yourself. And then you can go watch her video and verify this. Several prophecies per person, for the most part. But look, look at that count. This all from one video. There we go. 73 that I could count. I may be wrong. There may be more. But at least 73, concluding with the great wealth transfer. Absolutely amazing. Are you not astonished? Who can continue to follow this false prophet? And again, you know what she's going to say? Well, you know, it's, it's not that these were false prophecies. It's just that our timing is not God's timing. and We don't understand his timing. That is the biggest, most hollow load of steaming bull feces that I've ever heard. This woman said that all these things were going to happen in the year 2022. There is no debate here. You cannot use that hollow argument. Well, we just don't understand God's timing. No, if that's the case, stop making these videos. It's ridiculous. Jeremiah 23 is one of the best chapters to really get an idea of how God feels about false prophets and false teachers. Even in verse 1, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. By the way, Julie Green is also a pastor, which again defies God and his holy word. But look what they do. They destroy and scatter. Destroy and scatter. Here is God in verse 2. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, you have scattered my flock and driven them away. That's what false prophecy does and false teaching. Unbelievable. But you can read through this chapter. It is so very telling. Look what it says in verse 11. For both the prophet and the priest are profane. Yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Wow. Here he says in verse 13, 
And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people to error. Now, this is very specific, having to do with the prophets of Samaria prophesying in Baal, but it's still applicable because false prophecy as a whole causes people to error. They're speaking things which God did not speak. It is a crime against God of the worst sort. Verse 15, Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Read this chapter. It is astonishing. All right, so I'm going to close this video like this. Pray for Julie Green because she's killing people. Many people don't think that this is a big deal. Or many people, many of her followers will say, well, she, she has a heart after God. Some will say, well, she's trying. Some will, uh, believe it or not, have also been taught that, well, not all prophecies, you know, come true. God understands. No, I'm not the God of the Bible. Jesus warned you in Matthew 24 and Matthew 7. Take heed and be not deceived. Watch out for false prophets. Many shall come in my name. And some of them might even get these prophecies right. Some of their prophecies right. The 50-50, you know, things. Don't be amazed. Now, I don't despise prophecy, but I do despise false prophets. For they are evil, and Jesus did warn us about them. Take a deep breath. There is not one word that these modern day prophets can utter that could add to your faith. You do not need prophets for salvation. They want you to believe that they are just crucial to your faith. They're not. What you need is faith in Jesus Christ as written in his holy word. Everything you need for salvation is found in our holy Bible. So beware of Julie Green and all those that condone her and all those that are compliant and support these false prophets and promote them and endorse them. Come back to Jesus Christ. Come back to Jesus Christ and fellowship with him. Walk in Jesus Christ and beware of false prophets.